same as like wave landing back, but at the same time you're also shooting a laser. Yeah. And it's like less lag than shooting a, than like wave landing. Yeah, because well, I mean, with a wave land, you just have what ten frames? Uh, eleven. Oh, it's eleven. I, I think eleven. Yeah, it's either 10 or 11. Either way, it's a lot more than, I think, four off the lasers or something. Like yeah, that. three or four yeah. off of, like, it depends on uh, the the end lag of, uh, it's it's just the same as if you normally landed. Yeah. Oh, you say that's four. Mm-hmm. So anything is actually doing well. Yep. Four air. Nice. All right, so he's just got to keep stage control right here. That's another thing that I feel like makes the matchup uh, much harder for Charizard is that Wolf actually gets stuff off of grabs at, like, basically all percents. Oh god, just four species twice. Yeah, so I mean, just being able to back throw in either forward air or uh, flash is just really good. Oh, oh wow. that was actually that was cool. spicy. <laughs> I've actually never seen that. The gun hitbox is the dumbest thing that I've ever seen. Oh, he's, oh I'm always dead. <laughs> gun hitbox? Would, imagine if Falco had the gun hitbox. Yeah, I think, <laughs> me and Hakeem, I think we are talking about this last week, and like, as soon as we started talking about it, we are like, you know what, never mind, that's just not even to discuss, like, that's gross. Wow. The, like, you can actually, um, you can't drill over Wolf's laser as Fox because the because the bayonet will push you back <laughs> and it'll combo into the laser. That's like, I was playing against Kaiser's Wolf one time and I was playing as Fox and he was like, oh, you could just nair through the laser. And then I tried to nair through the laser and I got hit by the fucking the gun. And I was like, all right, well, that's beautiful. Oh, what's he do? What? No, don't roll in. Why did he just fart it? <laughs> I don't, so... That's jump? another thing yep. about Wolf is he's able to to like do dumb aerials and still be able to come back. See, I like what Anthony did off stage. There was he shine stalled. Oh, oh. All right, so that's good. Oh, All right. got, so he shine stalled before, got hit by the nair, and then shined again immediately after to get Kais off him and then recover. Yeah, uh, Zard doesn't hit that like the low percent edge guard. Sometimes Zard doesn't hit hard enough to to send you like far enough away to be safe. Oh, don't just grab a ledge. Uh, all right, yeah, that works. Oh, come on. See, I've, we're clear. We're clearly very biased. Here. Yeah. I mean, it's like I want to see him. Like, oh, I don't like that. I want to see him do well. Cause like, I'm sure we're all used he to seeing. He has his double jump. Oh, no, he's dead. I thought I he mean, saved his double jump for the second air, and I was like, that would be amazing if you could get hit by two nairs and just save his double jump. See, now's where it gets really hard because Kais has a lead. Yeah, and Kais has no incentive to, like, do anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could just kind of... Oh, why is he up smash? Why is he... What? <laughs> what was that? Just down smash more. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's going to kill him. Down smash uh, comes out frame 7, fun fact. Oh, that's... Why? <laughs> it's so good. All right, so he's comboing him he really well. Oh, wow, he missed the, the... I don't know why he's comboing the way he is. You can just... Like, you can be super basic with your combos against- oh, What's all What? Oh, let's go, Anthony. Okay, so you can be super basic with your combos against Zard. You can just do shine, down air, shine, down yeah. air, shine, nair, shine, nair, shine, side B. And yeah. that's it. Like, yeah, and I, Zard can't do anything about it either. Yeah. He can't, like, DI out or anything. He can DI off stage and get down air earlier, but... Um, is this best of five or best of three? I don't know how many entrants we have. And this is, uh, winner semis. I mean, usually this would be best of five, but it depends on the entrance. Yeah, anything higher than 20, I think. Okay, so then so top four. I think it's a 24 or more. It's a top top, five, uh, top six. Get yeah. money. So, so this should be best of five, yeah. Yeah. Which also um, makes this more difficult yeah, for Yeah, I was going to say. Because like Kais is a long... Kais is better in long sets. That's how it usually is for, like, the, the better player always has the advantage the more games that we play. Uh, they play. I don't like that. Why doesn't he just down air? <laughs> the crazy thing is he's missing the L cancel and he's still just not getting punished. <laughs> that's wolf. just like that's a testament to like how good Wolf is. Wolf is so much oh, he, like he, he's so good because he's like heavier than the other spaces, so he's just he doesn't go anywhere near as far off of a hit like that. Mm hmm He's Falcon. But with yeah. like spacey neutral Falcon with a projectile and a shine, and a recovery. <laughs> oh, how did he? Not good. Oh, how did he lose his jump there? I don't know. I think he after the second shiny attempted. I think he thought it was gonna hit and he was gonna be able to jump out. But then as soon as he jumped, he got hit. 
Oh, I think I understand why Anthony's comboing the way he is. It's because Wolf jump like all three of the spaces have different jump spots. It's What's uh, Wolf's four? Wolf's is four, Fox is three, Falco's uh, five. Fa Falco's five. Um Falco's actually has the same jump spot as Mewtwo. I thought Mewtwo was six. Was Mewtwo's you I think right. I think six. It's six because he's airborne on frame six. Oh, okay. That but like, sense. and Falco is also airborne on frame six. But he has five frames of like yeah, yeah. of knee bend animation. And then there's Bowser who has like ten. I know he well, had he had he nine had in ten. melee. No, yeah. I, I thought he's airborne on ten. Oh yeah, it might be that. It's like so weird that people like describe. They don't specify when they describe like. <laughs> Yeah, the, the jump squat. The is jump weird. squat. They they don't describe it like by the frame it's in the air or like whether it's. <laughs> uh, he does not need to go for shine. Shine doesn't work in that situation. Yeah. Ice keeps telling me to go for it though, so there might be something. You to have to it. do it like way early, but like if your invincibility runs out and you just get hit by uh, his air. Oh god. Ice. Oh god. I mean, this is still doable. Uh, I don't like that. What does he do? Why? Don't. He, he has no reason to actually go for, like, smash attacks because Wolf gets so much off of grab. Yeah. In in a situation where, like, Kai'Sa is just holding shield, you can just walk up and shine grab. Yeah. And then just combo that indent. I also haven't seen it's, him up throw at all. Yeah, up throw I, is Wolf's best throw. Wolf is, a, like, Wolf, like Falco, is a, it's always funny that you could shine grab, and land the shine, miss the grab, obviously, and then still just follow up. And that's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. It's even more true with Wolf because of the trajectory it sends yeah. at. Like, Falco passed like 100, 105, 110. Like, Shine, you can't land the Shine grab and then follow up immediately after. But, like, Wolf can just have that happen forever. Yeah. Because it's because off stage and above is the is like the worst trajectory to send Zard at. Like, Zard being above the opponent isn't like 100% horrible. Mm -hmm. But being off stage is, which is why like Wolf Shine just is like perfect positioning wise. In addition to like combos, she could just shine <laughs> down, down throw shine. You can side B there too. Oh no! Oh god! I don't. I, oh, that is really rough. Those are such rough. risky shine stalls. Because he's just so high, but close to the stage. I don't. Want, Wolf is also one of the few characters that will kill you for trying to edge guard him. <laughs> yeah. Like Fox will combo you out of the up B. Oh, he should have gone for side B. But Wolf will just straight up kill you for trying to touch his recovery. Yeah. It's one of those ones where, like, especially with his side B, if you go off stage and you just get clipped, like. You're just gonna get yourself killed because he, you're in a terrible position now. I, I keep losing my train of thought. I don't know what's going on. It's because your brain is probably short circuiting at the sight of such majesty, <laughs> as uh, as like. Sh <laughs> I don't Wolf even... versus borderline unga bunga. Yeah. Wolf lasers are unga bunga as shit. Oh, oh right. that was, all right. That was pretty spicy. You can't sweet spot Zard uh, a B without like a jump first. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard. Insanely hard. Yeah, because there's so many factors that determine it. He's I only getting 37% like... off of combos. Because Switch will just like kill Kyle every time. Especially if you don't sweet spot with Charizard, he kind of lingers there at the top for a second. I feel like you could Marth Killer that too. Hmm? I feel like you can Marth Killer Charizard's up B in that situation if he doesn't sweet spot. Because yeah. he clips above the stage and he kind of hangs there for a second. So that should be like easy, actually. So Marth Killer just work, or like the the light shield properties act the same as they do in melee, right? You just like hold hold shield like not full press, and it'll just do um, Marth Killer. No, you just can't uh, light shield at all. It's just, I just uh, shield and then hold down and towards the ledge, and it just works. Well, like release first, right? Because no, I, I just don't. I I just hold. I don't let Wait, go of shield you, at all. But if no, no, I'm talking about directional. Like in terms of, uh, if you're hold down when you're in the air, then you won't grab the ledge. Uh, I honestly think that I, 
don't let go be, of the direction. It might be a particular like <clears throat> notch that you're holding. I just do 45 degree angle towards oh, the ledge. Oh, how did he get back? Is he dead, Uppy? No, he's not. Punish. How is that not combo at one <laughs> at 130? <laughs> That's so crazy. So Anthony had like a decent lead and it's just kind of like going away. So I, I, he needs to get some kind of insurance and he gets 19 that's it. So this is actually a stage where I would recommend Anthony to have gone Falco. <laughs> like Battlefield is so good as Falco against... Oh. I mean it's also really good for Wolf. It is, but I don't see the same like combos that you should see. Wolf performing on Zard. Oh, he's dead. No, wait, oh yeah, he lost his jump. I keep thinking he's saving his jump by doing these shine stalls, and then he's like always jumping on the second one, which yep. is what Kyle is expecting. Here, oh. Yeah, um. Every time he's just like missing fall like free follow ups on like combos and Kais just knows how to kill Wolf off of like dumb mistakes. I think you might have been able to get a forward air there at the end. Yeah. That's another thing like I mean like we talked about before, he's going for a lot of like bad smash attacks too on shield, which actually kinda lost him that last game where he could have grabbed. Oh that could have been an L smash. That could have also been in the grab also like he can do many, many things he's just not doing any of them. He keeps going for that. Go for shine. Like, 105 is prime percent to... What the... That was ridiculous. Wolf is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he get a fucking up B or a side B back after hitting that? That's so ridiculous. Uh, don't he used to him. get... He used to be able to just act out of it, period. But now it's only when he hits things. Yeah. Imagine 3.02 when, when he could just like side B and then <laughs> immediately do it. No, he couldn't do that. He had to, he no, always had to hit something. He always had to hit something. Yeah. It, oh, it was just sooner. But he used to be able to like. Instant. There, there was less restriction on uh, what he could. I can't remember what the difference is now. He might have been able to like even like air dodge or something. Oh, yep. All right, so not quite a combo finish. Not, oh, okay, that's good. So he manages to like close out the stock. Um, I'm starting to see better performance out of like his combos and like not quite playing as like unsafely. He's going for grabs now. That's really good. He he realized that the purple button is actually insane. Yeah. With speed, with like Wolf specifically, Wolf has like such an amazing like throw game. Yeah, I mean he could he could always follow up. Whereas like, I I don't know how how is Fox's up throw on Charizard? Can Charizard just get it's, out of it because he's a, super heavy? It's a 50-50. You don't get a guaranteed up throw up air ever. Uh, but if you read, uh, you have to either read whether first whether he's gonna jump or not. Then if you read that he's going to jump, you have to guess which direction he's going to go. Um, and then read the double jump. But if you guess wrong, then you get back aired without a double jump and then you die. Um, so usually it doesn't lead to anything. It's better to down throw and reaction tech chase. So I just checked. The difference now with Wolf's side B is that it consumes his double jump. He used to be able to hit someone and then still double jump after. Uh... Wait, so he could... Oh, it, it, it just, in general, didn't take away his double jump. So, I mean, even if you... if you Oh, yeah, so you could side B and then you could double jump. Yeah, after. you could side B, get hit, and then just double jump and recover, which... Thank God he can't... Oh. Yeah, oh, that's, that's it. That that's way. it. All right, let's go do it. He said it. Gotta stop teching it.